keep it tight. Now, if I grab his elbow, there's a lot of space to pull your head out. And look at you just, ah! Okay, pull arm off. Okay, so when I have it, I grab it tight. Now, if you look, and I move my hip here, you can actually choke the person. I never thought you could do it before, so uh, to him, you start the wrong guy. And the guy goes, you can choke with that. And I go, you can. It's a head no, You can't choke with the arm. And he cranks and it's uh, tapping. I go, jeez. So he showed it to me. And uh, the guy, what happened? Lift, lift your head up. Lift up. Stand on this. Yeah. So what he did, stand up. He just jumped on the guy here and he choked the guy out. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. It can be done. And I didn't believe it because I've never seen it before. But, and also I tried it. No way. But what it is, is once you get this, okay, what happens here was I was here and I was here and he's sucking his arm in. He's pulling it in. So what I do is I pull it and I just slap it. And now I grab it. Okay? So I just place my hip here and grab both hands. And it's the same thing when I grab the body and I squeeze and pull. And I don't go like this. I grab it and pull it like that. So as I grab this, I move my hip. And then I bring it in and squeeze it tight. Okay? This, if it doesn't choke him, it still sets him off. So it sets up the throw. Whether it's here, whether it's here, whether it's here, whether I dive under and grab that leg, okay, this is a headlock series, we call it, okay? All right, so once we're here, we're gonna go one, two, and I'm gonna pull it here, I'm gonna try to choke, but I can't, so I bring it under here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring both hands up. I'm gonna grab my fingers, okay? Now, look, I wanna keep his head in the center of my chest, I just lift my knees here. <coughs> Okay. So right from here, I just bring my left leg, or I'm sorry, my right leg back, mm. my throw, and I pose, and I sit out, and neck crank. Okay? Like that. This also can be done if you're shooting the body tackle. Mm. Shoot in. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Next one. So I'm here. What happens is he yanks his arms down, pulls them down. So all I do is I slap that thing in. Now look where I'm at. Front shoulder. Okay. Head and arm. Okay, so once I take this one, I'm just going to come underneath him. It's like uh, uh, Tomonagi. Just going to jump underneath him and throw him over the top. So this leg's going to kick under. Pull. Body weight down. Okay. One more time. So I go here. So I first one to touch it. I slap that arm and grab it. Look. Okay, so. No good. So right from here, I just lift this and I just jump underneath him. Roll over the shoulder, body weight down. Four. This is fine too. One more. This is called the American roll because American uh, freestyle wrestlers are using this one a lot. They use it here and they just dive underneath. Now, the other way is I dive under this way. I like to post the hip. This is called a Russian roll. And it's still in that crank. Okay. So when I take it from here, I try it here. I try to get this. It's good. Slap it. Rush it off. Okay. When I take it from here, oh, 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 sorry. From right here, I hook. He sucks it in. Slap it. Roll and pulse, head up. All right, American, Russian. And <laughs> when I reach my double underhook, okay. he's going to throw up. Double underhook, he's going to throw up in the neck crank. So right from here, I want to throw. So if his head's on my left side, I throw him to the right side. Right here. 